What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we're gonna be reacting to another Ill Will Press Foamy the Squirrel video. So this one we've got Game Trade-Ins. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be complaining about the fact that you get like five cents when you go to trade in a game and then they'll turn around and sell it for damn near the same price that they would have sold it to you for. I'm guessing that's gonna be what it's about. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. For folks who play video games, how many of you are sick and tired of getting ripped off when you go in to trade in some of your games for cash or credit at the local game store? Are these fuckers serious? So you go in there with a handful of games, a few older ones and a few newer ones. They proceed to go through them and start nitpicking each disc, saying, This is a bit scuffed. This booklet is bad. Oh, there's a little bit of a uh, spineware on this uh, case here. Uh, then they come back with some insanely insulting figure. Like a dollar. Yeah. A fucking dollar. They want to give you one dollar for a game you paid forty dollars for. Yeah, fine. It's an older game and maybe not a lot of people want to buy it. Or it's an unpopular title. But if they're going to resell it for nineteen dollars, they the funny thing is, like, I don't even know if anyone goes to these short stores anymore. Because everyone knows to just look up online how much the prices are worth. It actually kinda sucks. Cause I remember when I was in high school. I got, like, my Sega. I got my Sega from a garage sale with a bunch of games. Like, it came with, like, tw 20 or 30 games, Sega Genesis, at a garage sale for 15 bucks. And half those games were, like, uh, you know, on their own worth at least that much. Back then, probably even way more now, right? Because the game prices have gone so up so much. But it's so hard to find those deals now. One, because people are a lot better... Uh, like, ki kids generally keep their games longer now. Right back then, it was still kind of socially unacceptable to play video games past being 14, 15 years old, whereas now it's completely socially acceptable. And, uh, so people keep their games longer. But two, people are aware that games, old games, are worth a lot of money now, right? They hear the news stories about them. So even old people will go online and check out the prices. So you'll go to a garage sale, and it'll be some, you know... 50 year old woman sell her kid went off to college and she's selling his video games and you know he, he doesn't know about it most likely but she'll sh she'll have checked you know some price chart website for how expensive they are so you go there it's like oh it's fucking she wants 65 dollars for this game it's worth it but i i mean you know i don't really want to buy it from a garage sale for 65 bucks right i was i was hoping to find you know find this for five dollars <laughs> mathematical calculations indicate you're getting ripped off so what I do is, if I feel the need to piss off some game shop clerk, I bring in a handful of games, then find the same titles in their store being sold used, and bring both up to the register. Then I haggle with the fucker. Well, we can only give you uh, two dollars for this game. Nah, dude, look, you're selling it for like twenty-five. Give me twelve bucks. Um, well, I can't do that. Sure you can. Put your brother off. Uh, we're not allowed to give more than uh, what's listed in the computer. Okay then, go fuck yourself while I piss on your mother. Then I go on to the second game I brought in, knowing full well I'm just wasting their time while the line grows behind me like an angry retail fungus. <laughs> I frustrate customers just long enough for them to walk out. Honestly, the best place to go if, you, if you're trying to sell used games is go to a, like, retro game store. Because, one, they'll usually give you a lot better price. And, two, you can actually haggle with them because it's not some massive corporation, right? They they will sell you, like, they they... they, they you know, it's you, the owner or, like, an employee has a lot more wiggle room on, like, what they're allowed to do. You go to, like, a GameStop, right? They're, they have set prices. That's it. They can't change it, right? Um, you're basically screwed, right? They're, they're going to offer you what they offer you, and that's it. But if you go to, like, a, your local uh, retro game store, you'll, you'll get a lot better deals. Like, I remember I was talking about garage selling. When I was in, I think it was, like, a year or two after I graduated high school, me and a buddy went to a bunch of garage sales, found a bunch of games, and there was a bunch of copies of, like, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, like, all the old Game Boy, Game Boy Color ones that we picked up. And I already had all of them, so I didn't really care to keep them. So we went to uh, a, a local retro game store near us. Local. It's, like, 45 minutes away. I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, went to the nearest retro game store. And we ended up getting, I think it was, like, 80 or 90 bucks for the Pokemon games. And then they would turn around and resell them for 130 140 bucks probably way more now but yeah they if you go to like a, a local retro store you have way more of a chance of getting a good price without making their purchase slowly chipping away at the game store's profits why would i do this you ask because to me there should be a sense of fairness with trade-ins if a game store is selling a used game for 
10 bucks, they should give you at least five for it. They'll still be doubling their money and making a decent profit. This is what I consider to be fair. With technology being what it is, eventually, this will all be a moot point. Games will be available for download only, there will be no used games, and all of these stores will be out of business. Just like record stores. Man, it's fun. that's accurate. That's basically what happened. Right? That's ba I mean, you go to like a GameStop now, they don't, I, they barely even sell video games. I mean, they do have them there, but like, I would say 80 to 90% of the store is just games merchandise, right? It's games and anime merchandise. It's, it's almost like a, like Hot Topic or something now, right? It's just a store that sells stuff for like gaming culture. They'll have like Funko Pops and like, uh, you know, whatever the big games are at the time, whether it be like, uh, you know, Fortnite when it was really popping off. I mean, I guess probably still, but they'll have like a bunch of like, you know, Fortnite action figures and like pl Pokemon plushies and just like a small gaming section and the store's like 80, 90% just gaming merchandise. Just like video stores. So fuck them. Fuck these future unemployed assholes who gouge the customer while taking advantage of those who trade in their games. People should just stop trading in games and make the effort. Sell them on eBay or some shit. You'll make more money that way and you won't feel like a chooch. Because he got ripped off by some fucking goon behind the counter at a fucking game store. I trade in nothing. Die. Mm -hmm. Uh no. Yeah, if you want if you want to trade them in, go to go to one, you should probably just sell it yourself, right? This is if you want to make the most money, that's how you're definitely gonna make the most money, although you might have to sit on it for a while. But if you really want to trade it in, you know, you either need the money now or you just don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, waiting for a buyer. Go go to a retro game store. They'll give you a way better price, right? They'll they'll give you a much fairer price, closer to what is actually market value. Obviously, they're not going to buy it for market value off you because they still have to make a profit off of it. But they're definitely going to give you a much better deal, right? They're not going to give you five cents for a game that's worth sixty five bucks. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.